let's take a look at Franklin Airborne Tall Tree from the G.I. Joe Classified line. Welcome back to the channel. Today, again, I have my daughter, Jolene, with me, and we're going to take a look at Franklin Airborne Tall Tree from the G.I. Joe Classified line. I do believe this is your first opening of a classified G.I. Joe, right? Yeah, okay. So let's get right with it. Check it out, the big window box again. They took that away for a while and there was no window on there and it, the front kind of looked like that. But now they got our window box back so we can see our figure and a, a great artist rendition of Airborne right there. The top you see here, he is 115 in the line. G.I. Joe down here. G.I. Joe Franklin Airborne Tall Tree got our Hasbro logo, another good drawing of Airborne. And on the back, we have our figure. Bottom fourth of the package is warning, copyrights, labels. Bottom, you have your barcode, more, more warning, copyright labels. Here you got your QR code, number 115 again in the, in the line. And other than that, I think it's pretty cut and dry. So what, how do you think of the packaging? You think it looks good? Uh, it looks like plastic. Looks like plastic, she says. All right, let's get our trusty knife here. How do we want to take him out? I'm thinking the bottom. What do you say? Let's go from the bottom. So we got that, and I like to, because I do keep packaging on this line, my G.I. Joe classified line. They make it so easy to keep your packaging. And right here we have warnings, copyrights, labels again. And let's pull him out. There he is. Empty box. We got the star, the G.I. Joe star on the back. Set that to the side. And here he is in this plastic coffin. And it looks really good. Has lots of accessories with this guy. So we'll start with the accessories. And we do have a backpack. Check that out. What do you think of the backpack? Plastic. Plastic. And we have his gun, and these are really, really gummy. But I think that's how they get away with making it four and over. So if this was stiff plastic, it could poke an eye out or something. I believe they would have to go eight or over, but this gummy stuff allows them to sell to four and over. And this one right here, this little silencer or whatever is on the end, is barely attached. So that has a really good chance of breaking off of there. But other than that, not a bad gun. The clip does come out. So the clip is removable. Usually they would, in, in the olden days when you got the parchment paper full of uh, your accessories, that would not be in there. It would just be in the parchment paper and you'd have to figure out where that goes so very good there so there's our gun we do have another gun this is a pistol this time check that out and again very very gummy whatever that is on the tip is very gummy no clip for this one let's see next we have a knife And, and then we have a helmet. And checking this helmet out, Jolene, it looks like there's a spot to put something. And I believe that something that goes in this helmet is right here. And I think it is lights. So can you figure out how to get that in there? So I'll let Jolene fiddle with that plug the lights in on the helmet. We'll get the rest of the accessories out, which is nothing more than goggles. So we have a pair of glasses for airborne. And then we have a pair of 
I'm not sure what that is. It's it's not goggles. I'm not really sure. This it looks like glasses that have, are in a case. So that is really odd. What do you think of that? Uh, uh, bomb protection eye cover. Eye cover? Huh. Not sure why he would have that. But let's go ahead next. We're going to get out airborne. Oh, yeah. Let's check out the, the helmet the now. Oh, she put the she took the liberty of putting the goggles in. So there's his lights and his goggles are in there. So very good, very very good. So let's get him out. And what do we think about? He's not tied in at all, so that's nice. And here he is. I'm gonna go through articulation real quick. Head all the way around. Look at that. Look at the movement on that head. Back, forth, all the way around, up, down, side to side. Wow, lots of movement. Shoulder goes all the way around. We do have the double butterfly. We have, is there, I'm not sure. He has this vest on. It is not sculpted on, but it also it is not removable. So it's hard to tell if there's an ab crunch in there. I kind of don't feel like there is. He does have a hula hoop waist. He's got big splits and Straddle. big straddles. Jolene thinks that this is straddles and that is splits. I'm not sure, but I call it the other way around. Um, he has this harness that goes around his waist area. He does have drop down hips. He has upper thigh cut. He has double jointed pinless knees. I forgot to mention double jointed pinless elbows, wrists up and down, not too much side to side. He does have two gripping hands with a trigger finger on each hand. He has no upper boot cut no upper boot cut but he does have the ankle articulation and check this out check this out can he do it boy he's not the greatest at it but he can pirouette do 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 so he can pirouette oh jolene is going to show me an act of leaping in the air or sitting down with the legs straight at a right angle to the upright body, one in front and the other behind, or one at each side. So splits is either way? Either way. Oh, so splits. Well, I'm going to call, I'm still going to call that splits and straddles. What do you think of that? No. All right, so he does have the harness on here. Check out his knife. We have a sheath for his knife, and I, I love it when they do it where the knife can be pulled out from the bottom and not the top. I really like that a lot. Straddle, sit or stand with one leg on either side. Oh, so I stand corrected. Yeah. I stand corrected, but I'm still gonna call it the other way because that's just me. <laughs> All right, so. A lot of detail on this vest. He, here is his flight wings right there on his suit to let you know he has that going on for him. He does have a grenade up here. He has a hole for his backpack. So let's plug that in. There we go. Look at that. His knife's in. Let's get his pistol. Bam! Right there. And one more thing he does i'm not entirely sure but there is a place for something right here not sure if that's for oh my goodness you know what i just noticed jolene this silencer comes off that's what this little pocket here is for for his silencer so if he don't need to be quiet he can take that 
silencer off his gun. Let's get his glasses on. Oh man, look at that. Look how cool he looks with his glasses. Check that out. So Mr. Tall Tree is looking good and get his helmet on. And it just keeps getting better and better. It is kind of hard to get his helmet on and keep his glasses from sliding down. So who's this remind you of if you could think of somebody? Is this supposed to remind me of someone? Um, have you ever seen Top Gun? I know. Uh, oh, he kind of reminds me of Tom Cruise on Top Gun. Especially like that. Look at that. How good does he look? So he is a gunner. He is not the pilot of a helicopter. He is the gunner. So here he is with all his accessories. I really, really like this guy. And there is no reason to complain with him. I'm going to make him left-handed. Having trouble with his gun and his trigger finger. Now we're going to have to try to get a helicopter for this guy. So we did watch... A 1983 cartoon, G.I. Joe Real American Hero, and we looked up Airborne, and we found him on episode 22, season one of the miniseries. It was really good, and it opened our eyes. He has a brother. He has, what's it called when you have mind powers to read each other's minds? Telekinesis. No, I think telekinesis is where you can move things. Yeah. What's the where we can read each other's minds? And he has a younger brother who is a civilian, and his name was Tommy in this episode. And Cobra Commander. Mind reading. Mind reading. Yeah, we'll call it that. So if if Tommy is in distress, Franklin Airborne can sense it, and vice versa. So he does have a little bit of special power. As far as that goes but it was a really good episode early on duke lady j and airborne and flash the actual pilot were all in this in this episode so telepathy. check it out check it out on youtube telepathy right so really nice happy with it and that's going to be it with a review. you have any final thoughts, Jolene, on it? Uh, 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 no final thoughts? Uh, uh. Do you give this a thumbs up or a thumb down? Thumb up. Wow. She actually gave it a thumb up. I will give it two thumbs up. I highly recommend this. Really cool. One of the few uh, air, I guess I'll call him an airman in our G.I. Joe Classified series, but really good. So with that, until next time, oh yeah.